It is always a thrill to be back in the Pyrenees, especially in the town of Bannière de Lichon on market day. The aroma of the chicken roasting on the rotisserie sets the mood. This market is typical of this region, with local farmers and producers assembling twice a week around the central covered hall to sell the fruits of their labor. You can taste before you buy. I am fascinated by the way a young pâtissier is cooking a cake called Gâteau à la Broche. He pours an almost runny butter cake mixture flavored with rum and vanilla over a turning spit and cooks it layer by layer with the heat of red hot charcoal. Once it's cooked, he cuts the steaming hot cake into pieces. Le Gâteau à la Broche, definitely one of the most unusual cake in France. The country-style bread display is outstanding. The traditional French tarts are still a bestseller, but I discover another regional classic. La Croustade is a delicious local gâteau. It is really an apple pie, and it is flavored with a fruit spirit. This modern version of Dark à l'Orange is very easy to make. I first score the skin of two duck fillets and seasoned with fennel seeds, sea salt, and pepper. I then brown them in a heavy pan, skin side down, for at least three minutes. I turn the meat over and finish the duck in the oven at 150 degrees for 10 minutes. I transfer the meat and fat to a dish and cover to keep warm. Resting the duck will keep the meat pink and tender. Next, I season some cooked carrots with salt, pepper, and a knob of butter and blend to a puree before mixing in some chopped parsley. I add a little armagnac to the pan and bring to the bowl. Then I add some orange juice and wait 30 seconds. Then add some veal glaze, some green peppercorn, a dollop of cream, a few pieces of roasted hazelnuts, and some skinless orange segments. I spread some carrot puree on plates and top with a duck fillet cut in half and some orange sauce. This new canard à l'orange is so good. Both the mountains and the valley of Bannière de Luchon are of great beauty. The region is so green and the streams of clear water are a perfect place for organic trout farming. Emilien Nual's family have raised trouts in Antignac for several generations. Alors, j'élève trois espèces de truites la truite euh, arc-en-ciel, la fario et euh, le saumon de fontaine aussi. Alors ici, je fais naître euh, toutes mes truites que je, que je fais éclore ici, que je fais grandir dans les petits bassins d'alevinage, et après que je transfère ici dans ces grands bassins qu'on peut voir ici. Là. Emilien gives them organic cereals and fish pellets to complement their diet. It takes between one and a half to two years for the trouts to be ready. The larger trouts look magnificent. Emilien recommends for me to taste his favorite, the small fario trout at the local restaurant. It's really a very fine textured fish with delicate flavors. Tomorrow I'm looking forward to spending another great day in the Pyrenees to taste more specialties. <laughs>